Uh, right here, I have a GPSS range pole along with the bipod. I disconnected them from each other. I'm going to go through some of the common problems with them and some of the quick fixes you can do so you don't have to order a whole new one every time something like this comes up. So the first part is going to be the quick release adapter here. This is the point uh, where you can connect the M7 or the TSC3. Sometimes we crank these down a little too tight. So when it comes time to loosen them, the knob comes off, but the quick release does not. So I'm going to go through how to salvage this without taking uh, needle nose pliers to the threading and ruining it. Then I'm going to go through uh, when you extend the range pole. Sometimes they stop a little early, doesn't let you through, and you can't get quite past the white to where those plastic uh, nipples are going to pop out where you need it to be exactly that two meters. Uh, what's actually happening there is there's a dent somewhere in the range pole tube where this can't get past. Okay, so I'm going to go through how to fix that uh, without having to order a brand new bipod or range pole. And then the bipod itself, uh, there's two more things here as well. So first thing I'm going to hit is the feet, the boots, the pointy parts. These are usually very loose and they're easy to lose. So once you lose these, uh, you probably are not going to find it, depending on where you are. So I'm going to go through how to get these secured so they won't fall off on you all the time. And then lastly, uh, as far as the bipod legs, so this is a good one. This is a good leg. So if I press this button, and I can extend it, and once I depress the button, it locks in place. Right? That's what we want to happen. This bipod leg, it's just loose. I don't have to do anything. No matter if I press the button or not, it's loose. So I'm going to go through how to fix that. Okay. So the first one, we're going to deal with the, uh, the quick release. So I'm going to take off the handle. And of course, the quick release stays on. So the way to fix this is I can take some blue Loctite. And I'll just put it on the threading. I'll tighten this back on let it cure overnight and I'll be able to take it off the next day okay maybe even within a couple hours it should tighten up on you so I take the blue Loctite put maybe a drip or two on liberally thread the handle back on make it nice and tight and then all I have to do is let it sit sits for about 24 hours, it'll cure. The next day, I should be able to just take it right back off. You might have to help it out at first with some pliers, but that's, that's the quickest way to fix it. Sorry. Next part, uh, the range pole won't extend completely. It only goes to the white. Uh, sometimes they won't even make it this far. And again, all that is, is there's a dent somewhere on the range pole tube that's not letting the internal tube extend completely. So the first step of this is I'm going to loosen that retainer nut, slide the stopper out, and the first step here is I need to pull the internal tube out of the external tube. Sometimes these are really stuck in here, and what you might have to do is take an old broken tribrock, one that might be laying around somewhere. You might have to thread this on and then step on it and pull out, uh, literally just pull on it until it comes out. That's what it might come to. But what I'm gonna try to do before doing that, is I'm just trying to pull it out by hand, okay? Oh. There you go. <laughs> I think I put a hole in my wall. Uh, didn't expect it to come out that easy, but basically a spring comes out along with, you got one, you see where number two went? There it is. Okay. So this, these nipples here, typically they're captured inside and that's what actually pops out through the holes, right? These are the plastic nipples you see. So if you pull it off too hard like I just did, uh, you might lose them. They might go flying on you. So just be prepared for that. So anyway, easy, uh, hard part's done. I got the internal tube out. 
So now, I'm going to set the range pole tube to the side. Get that plastic sleeve out of my way. And what I'm looking at is right here. The part that actually retains the plastic nipples, I'm going to sand down the edges of it. Okay, so you can just use sandpaper if that's all you have laying around. Right here I have an orbital sander. I'm just going to take it to it. Uh, try to make this plastic flush with the rest of the tube, and it should be able to slide right in. Okay, this isn't going to affect the performance of it at all. Uh, it's still going to be just as sturdy. We're just taking a little bit of this plastic off, and uh, it, it's going to help it in the long run. Right. So. So as you see, I just sanded down uh, that plastic. I didn't have to go very long at all. I just sand it down until I think it's good, and then I slide it back into the external tube. And as you can see, if I do so, it goes in and out without a problem. Okay, so now at this point, I can take my, my sleeve, push it back down. I'll take the spring and the plastic nipples, place them back in. like so, thread the retainer nut back on, it's a big thread, and then now it fully extends, the nipples come out, I can put, put it back in, it's not stopping like it was, and that shouldn't have a problem until somebody else puts a bigger dent into it. And you just go back through and sand it again. So the next part is going to be the actual feet of the bipod itself. Uh, it's going to be just like a lot of things that I fix. I'm just going to take Loctite, apply it, let it sit overnight, and we're not going to have the problems that we did before. So if I just undo the boot, take the Loctite, shake it up. I'm going to apply a liberal, a liberal amount onto the threading. I can take the boot, thread it back on, and I can just hand tighten it. Or if you have a wrench, you could really crank it down. I'll just do that with both of them. Again, take the boot off, apply the Loctite, crank it back down. Let it sit overnight, and now you won't have problems with these falling off on you in the field while you're using them, okay? And the last thing we're going to hit on the range pull is the actual uh, extension of the legs. So like I demonstrated earlier, this one is nice and tight. If I press the button, it lets me adjust it, and when I release the button, it's nice and tight. It locks into place. Or, jeez. This one is very loose, doesn't matter if the button's pressed or not. So this is a very easy fix, I don't even need Loctite, I just use my hands. There's an adjustment inside of this uh, where I can tighten it back down. So this little retainer nut, this plastic piece, I'm just going to unthread it. It's a very big thread, so it's going to take you a minute. So undo it completely. There we go, and we can see the threading now. If I just simply pull this off, set it down, we can see this piece here, this little aluminum cone deal. And if I press the button down here, that's, that's what's actually happening when you press the button on the bipod, on the bipod leg. So if I press that out, I'm just going to tighten it. It's got a little uh, bolt inside of it. Tighten it down until it looks about right, and then I can just test it. So I'll put the leg back on. I need to relieve the tension by pressing the button. 
I slide back in. And if I release the button, I can try to move it. It's nice and tight. It's not moving left or right on me. So now all I have to do, put that retainer nut back on. And it's good. It's good to go. You could actually, on that uh, aluminum cone that I just threaded back on inside here, you could put Loctite on it, and that would probably hold it for a lot longer. I might actually go back in and do that. But it's such an easy thing to do that you don't really have to worry about it. If you're running into that problem, it takes you about two minutes to fix. That's it. Okay, so that was the four uh, probably most common problems with the GPSS uh, range pole and the bipod. Those are some big problems you run into a lot with them, and it's a very easy fix. The Loctite itself, the blue Loctite, is only two, three dollars. Home Depot, you can buy it online, you can go to a store. Uh, it has a lot of uses in it. So with that being said, uh, I'll see if I can come up with any more things to fix in an easy way uh, that we can extend the longevity of some of our gear. And that's it. Okay.